hey guys, um, I'm aware that I may look a bit like a thug or I look like freaking um juicy wee wee from Toonsies or something like that. But I wanted to at least record this reaction since the video just came out. And I was really kind of trying to make sure, you know, this is a YouTube video. So, you know, this is going to be one. But anywho, the video is called I'm Tired of Being Fat. It's something I can't even relate to. Yo Yo 808 put out a video. Uh, I'm tired of being fat. As I, you you can look at him. I don't really feel like he's fat. I don't feel like he looks fat to me. You know, like I feel like when you see fat, like you know what you're talking about. Like Wario or King K. Rule, like those bigger, rounded characters. He doesn't seem like he built like one of those. So I don't know. I don't really feel like that's a concern. But to each their own, I guess. Cut starting now. It was fun eating fast food every day from Subway cookies and grocery store cupcakes, but uh, you gotta go. <laughs> Did he really have to put EDP for the cupcakes and Jared from Subway for cookies? They're both known for terrible things, I'm just saying. Would have gotten away with it too if I wasn't meddling with kids. That is not how you say it. Right. Yeah, that, that's what he did. Hey, if man, you don't know what he did, yeah. I'm, I'm getting big, bro. I know this video isn't long, but I just had to get this off my chest. I am getting big. I'm talking about getting something off my chest when I need to be putting a D cup size bra on my chest. I've been fat before. All right, bro. Sure. See, this, I can understand this. But if he says he's fat, like, he says he's fat now in this Discord that he had, he still said he's fat. And I'm sitting here like, Bro, I wish I can gain weight, dog. I am like, I haven't, I've been this like shape. I guess I've, I've just grown taller, but I've been this way since like sixth grade, bro. Try to imagine being the same size for what, close to 10 years, bro. It's kind of ridiculous. Or 265 pounds to be exact. But that was just for me being a fat kid. Like I had 21 years to put that weight on. Now I started going to the gym in 2022 and I got fit. But then I got lazy. And by lazy, I really just mean hungry. I was eating. But the thing is, since I go to the gym and I get my protein in, when I put on weight, I also put on muscle. So my so my body tricks me into thinking I'm doing something correct. Because I'll be like, oh, I got a muffin top, but sh look at my arms, though. And it enables me to not take weight gain seriously. Another thing that my body does when I gain weight is it also gains strength crazy. I'm not going to lie. I've been strong as hell lately. I've been repping out my old PRs like it's nothing. I genuinely feel zero resistance when I am benching 100 pound dumbbells. I'm a unit of circumference because I'm fat. Okay, okay, we get it. Why are you saying all of this? Because I've reached my breaking point recently. I gotta lose this weight. So boom, I'm working on a video and I get hungry. Now Uber Eats has been doing this deal with, with Popeyes. If you spend $15, you get six. Especially with the fact that Black History Month just passed and this man's immediately eating Popeyes, I'm just saying. Six wings free. So I'll spend $15 on 12 wings and that would get six for free. That's a great deal. And I was spamming that jar. So on that day, I ordered my stuff and I get ready to go down the elevator to pick it up. Now, as I said before, I'm, I'm a little bigger than I used to. I still look solid when I have a pump. Like if I'm wearing a tank and I have a pump, godlike physique. But when I have a tank and I don't have a pump, the only God I look like is Buddha. So when I ordered the food, I was <laughs> in the tank. And instead of changing to something, I was like, ah, it's 10 p.m. I'm gonna just go down and grab it. No one should be walking around right now. So I go down to grab my wings. Elevator, clear. Hallway, clear. I grab my wings and head back. Parking lot, clear. Hallway, clear. Elevator, bad bitch. Fuck, bro. Whenever you look bad in front of a beautiful woman, a woman who is a like, at minimum, a 8 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10, you will immediately lose your mind because you have now done something terrible to yourself. And that is, you decided to walk outside looking like that. But you know what? Just for you, you didn't look bad. I'm going to tell you. I can see you through the screen. I know you didn't look bad.
if you're watching this video, I know you don't look ugly. You're not ugly. You're good, bro. Or sis. You know, wherever you are, whatever you claim yourself to be, you look good. Just go back outside, you know, rock whatever fit you had on. That's all good. And if you see somebody that you may think is out of your league or looks amazing to you, you know, just drop them a compliment. You can say, like, hey, you look nice. I like your outfit. Sometimes you might have to keep pushing. They might say, not say anything. You might not say thank you. But, you know, in your mind, you're going to feel like you said something that made their day. You know, because people actually need compliments. People who don't get compliments tend to really kind of, like, get upset, feel like they did something wrong. Like, bro, there's an outfit I wore in my last reaction that you guys didn't see because I didn't edit. But I'm putting it on screen. That outfit that you see, like, I think it's above me or something. Where, wherever I put it, wherever you see it, that was an amazing outfit. You guys never got to see it. But somebody had to compliment me for me to realize how good it was. Because it's like the, it wasn't the Jesus chain. I'm not going to sit there and say it's a chain. I don't have chains. But I got like a necklace with a Jesus uh, cross on it. And I kind of just wore this black shirt. And I had my afro up. It was a good look. I'm just not doing it now because I won't look good with it. But yeah. You look good. Go back outside. That's your confidence. Not too much. But, you know, be confident in yourself. I walk up to that elevator. And I see this tall, dark skin, cargo pant, crop top, wearing butterfly lock cabin girl. Bro, she was so bad. Here I am in a sweaty tank top with a beer gut looking like a failed fusion. I'm over here looking <laughs> like a king of the hill character. King of the meal face ass. I get in that elevator embarrassed, bro. I don't even, I, I try to look at her and she don't look at me. And then I just get mad, bro. Like, of course I see you today. I've never seen you before. I don't think I've ever been more upset to see a black woman in my life, bro. Like, why are you here? It's 10 p.m. I feel like a sundown town <laughs> citizen, bro. And me holding Popeyes was not helping. Pop out, get on my floor, get in my crib embarrassed I still f with those wings but that's where i am right now bro i gotta change my ways bro cut starting now it was fun eating fast food every day some subway cookies and grocery store cupcakes but uh, you gotta go <laughs> and i would have gotten away with it too if i wasn't meddling with kids that is not how you say it but yeah if you don't count my starting point this is genuinely the biggest i've ever been like i'll just show you i look fine from like the from here up but like man man I take back what I said. I mean, the stomach's there, you know what I mean? I, I could sit here and, like, possibly do the same thing. I don't look that bad, bro. You know? Like, the stomach's right here, but if I turn to the side, you know, it's not really, like, crazy to see. It's kind of fit with my thing, so. Not the worst, but hey, he has a gut. He has a gut. I, oh bro, I'm cooked. And I know I'm getting big because I am way more opinionated about food than I've ever been in my life. Like, P. Terry's does his monthly shake thing, and I'm not going to lie. Every first of the month, I am there. I am more devoted to going there on the first than I am to paying my damn rent. Another thing is I'm starting to run out of breath more often, and I am so good at eating wings now, bro. I have mastered the, <laughs> the one bite technique, bro. I'm, I'm it's a fat nigga technique. I'm sorry to tell you, yo, yo, that's a fat nigga technique. I don't even eat wings in one bite, bro. I'll sit there and like, that, nope, not doing it. I'm actually pretty confident that, that I could compete pretty well in the eating competition, bro. But once again, this is also the most muscular I've ever been. I am a fucking unit. I went from looking like a high value male to looking like a high value male. You no, know you're getting fat when women find you more attractive. I don't know what it is. But I've always gotten more attention from women when I'm on the heavier side. I, I, I don't get it. I mean, yeah, it's just more comfortable to cuddle bigger guys. You better cuddle some cobblestone because that's what I'm about to feel like. Cut starting now. I'm done. I'm done. Summer's coming up. I don't go outside, but I'm, I'm going to look good, though. So, yeah, I got a vlog channel. I've been documenting my work process, but I'm also going to start documenting my cut. If you're trying to get right, trying to get right, tap in. I know this video is shorter. I have a longer one coming this Sunday, actually.
Hold this freestyle. Why, why the fuck that nigga talking like I will not get his drop of the beam? I make a. I thought I'd like start feeling it. I like the beat. I'm not really feeling the words, but anywho, like I said, I gotta go. So I'll listen to that freestyle like later, maybe when I get back. But I'm not done right now. Um, um. So yeah, like I said, you look great today. Stop hating on yourself. You need you, you know. Look at yourself in the mirror. Say some good things about yourself. If you like your outfit, that's why you put that shit on. Also, uh, that's the video. You know, shout out Yo-Yo because it's an entertaining video that even though I can't relate to, some other people can. And that probably helps with, uh, you know, people who want to work out. I kind of do, but I don't feel like I have anything to work out. So that's why I don't do it. But overall, you know, um, I feel as though it's overall a great idea. It's a great message. For those people who want to get out there, start working out more. Um, it's also very helpful to anybody else because anybody else who needs that type of assistance or like that push, motivation, and everything, they got it from this. I think, but you know, that's just that's just my assumption. I would have like you know going like I wanted to go to the gym, but my homie kind of flaked on me. But we ain't gonna talk about that. But basically, I. Don't. I don't go to the gym because of the fact that, like, yo, I went to the gym once. I was, like, working on my leg. I was, like, on the stairs thing. And then, like, three girls started looking at me weird. I did then, bro. And then I was like, all right, cool. I'm working on my arms. My arms was uneven as hell. And I was like, forget it. I'm going home. I said, like, an hour and a half there. And I was just calling. That was it. But anywho, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you you hope you appreciate yourself today and anywho like subscribe uh be back because i also stream on twitch but i want you to be back on youtube as well because i want to post more youtube videos so the growth on youtube also can thank you anybody who watched the youtube short that i put out that it was like five days ago, i think five or six but it reached 9.5k the highest one i have the highest view thing i have it's crazy to me but um i think shorts has a different like algorithm thing whatever but it took four days it blew up and i'm grateful for everybody who's seen it i appreciate you guys i want you guys to know um i want you guys to subscribe and everything but i really do like the fact that uh you know even though i'm not here as much still doing numbers still doing great Look here. So um yeah, appreciate you. Thank you. And I'll see you soon.